St. Dunstan's is a place where the people had been preparing for this type of a program for many years and were holding space for something uh, like the Centre to happen. The primary goal or agenda would be ability to change. Yeah, I've been here for about four years, maybe, yep, just finished four years, and noticed that there are a lot of circles um, around St. Dunstan's that just are rotating and no one really landing um, except for the long-term members at St. Dunstan's. And so I wanted to capture <laughs> some of the people who are rotating in these circles and uh, wondered what they needed to land here at St. Dunstan's. And one of the things they needed was um, a strong adult Christian formation center. I realized I needed help. I have my own gifts, my own skills, but I also noticed that there are other people in this congregation with specific skills around retreat leading, uh, Bible study, uh, helping people with hospitality, things like that. So I wanted to capture them uh, to build a great adult Christian formation. And so I went to diocesan school for parish development. So we went to the school uh, with an idea of what we needed some help developing. We, it was just a new um, thought, new creation and it was the perfect timing to go to Parish Development School because we could learn different models that we use to actually flesh out and develop the program. I'm very passionate about transformation and so the opportunity to be involved with the work of a spiritual center that focuses on renewal and spiritual formation and spiritual transformation is, um, that's like a dream come true really. I mean, the, one of the core sort of aims or guidelines of the school uh, is that Every parish can work to become more faithful and more connected to its community and more, uh, have a greater, a better fit between what its resources are and what it's actually doing. David invited me to attend the school and it explained that us having a shared language and shared models to work with in the development of the center, especially in our relationship with the parish, um, David thought it would be really helpful to do that together as a team. I've been involved with St. Dunstan's for 36 years in the progressive journey that St. Dunstan's has had. We are on a journey, and that has held true for people currently attending who are in their 90s, who have been here for 20, 30 years. One of the unique things about the St. Dunstan's team was that it was a large team. They had seven people last year and six people this year. Uh, and it was a sort of a wide variety of people from the congregation. So there were some long-term members, some very new members. I think that you can come to the school with any level of theological and liturgical knowledge. Um, in fact, it's useful if you have um, maybe a little bit less focus on that and more of a focus on some of the practicalities of how to run a parish. Can you imagine a situation where this might work? Um, and what the school asks you to do is really think hard about what you're doing and how it's connecting what God's mission is for the world with what your parish is actually doing and connecting both of those things with what the community around you needs. They did an exercise called a fishbowl where there was, uh, we'll say, disagreement um, in the exercise amongst the members of the group. And the way the facilitator modeled how to handle that, I thought, okay, I'm going to take from that now and, and learn from that so that when I find myself in a similar situation that I can respond in kind because it was very fruitful. The component that made me go, wow, is now, in my mind, I have a sign on me that says, I am God's presence. Evangelical traditions have a better sense of how to connect with the world around them than Anglican churches have historically had. Um, and so that contribution that they have, that need to connect and share the stories of Jesus, is something that the parish development school would ask them to dig down on and, and focus in on. So I think, I think any 
ecclesial tradition could find um, a deeper sense of itself and how that sense of self can then be offered to uh, the world. Um, I think I'm able to capture the enthusiasm of the convert because I'm a convert myself. I come from a Pentecostal background. I come from, uh, I came into the Anglican Church through the Roman Catholic, dabbling in Roman Catholicism. So when I discovered Anglicanism and it spoke the language of my heart, then I was not just enthusiastic to receive something, but I wanted to learn it in order to share it and, and, and become the evangelist for it. And so the Parish Development School just help us take um, the, the beautiful setting we have here, the people that are so hopeful and, and helpful, and uh, David's energies of, of creating and pulling together the vicariously connected people. And uh, it's been beautiful to see the integration of these folks from outside the parish coming back to church. There was an instant change in the energy that was here, in the people that were participating in the church activities. It has really uh, developed the parish in all sorts of ripple kind of effects. And one of the things that, that I think is responsible for that is the School for Parish Development. I think the pedagogy of the school ensures that we're not just there to learn something intellectual, but we are compelled to do something with it. We can't just listen to someone speak about models of the church without being invited to, uh, to incarnate that in, in the local community. I've attended maybe four or five events that the center has put on in the last year. At all of those events, there's been approximately 50% um, make up from St. Dunstan's and 50% of, of people attending that aren't from St. Dunstan's. At least one senior man, late 80s, early 90s, what's a labyrinth? He now religiously cuts and trims the grass of that labyrinth. It's been very, very exciting to see this church come alive. Coming into this great wisdom school felt um, like I was being equipped to do good work. It was a real honor to be at the school and to learn from quality people and quality material. So even in one of the models, gather, transform, send, this whole thing of sending is fundamental, I think, to the school. We're not there to, to gather and be transformed. We're actually there to take the gathering and the transform learning and then go out into our communities and, and actually put it into practice. Thank you.